What's up, fam? Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, I've been thinking uh, the last couple months, really, uh, about how much love matters. And, and, and love does matter. Ma- love is, is everything. Um, I, I put the l- love in the order of values is above truth because love is about maximizing well-being. That's the first value, maximizing well-being for, uh, within society from behind the veil of ignorance. And that's, that's love for our fellow man. And it matters. Uh, we, we have evolved for millions of years as a social animal. At, we, we work in, in a group, and it, that group is bonded by love. And that's what's... It, it goes so deep in our psyche, it's, it's everything. And I've been thinking about the fact... You know, if, you, if you look at the 60s, you know... It was a time of significant political change. The left accomplished a lot. We got civil rights, voting rights. Uh, it was a lot of progress, and uh, against a lot of resistance. And the, the big difference between the '60s left and the current left seems to me to be a focus on love. Uh, you know, a, it's all hippy dippy and flowers and. And make love not war and all this kind of stuff, and it, it it seems cheesy, but love unites people. Love motivates people. Uh, having the facts and and logic and correcting people, it, it all it seems very dry and and overly rational to a lot of people, and it's not nearly as motivating. Most importantly, the lack of evident love is what keeps the le- the left divided against itself if you want to ever influence anybody the worst thing you can do is come across as contrarian argumentative and anything that's like not loving because once people view you as a threat to their ideology as like uh not loving them not part of their tribe they put up walls and defenses and you're never going to convince them of anything. So what are you trying to do when you're talking to people when you're online? I mean, me, I want to actually influence people. I want to actually change people's minds. And uh, it doesn't happen if you don't operate in love first. Uh, Like I said in my last video, I have uh, many years experience in sales now and I was pretty damn good. And I believe it was Grant Cardone, who's one of the biggest sales trainers, who said that the rule number one of sales is to never disagree or argue with your customer, ever, because you're not going to influence them. Now, if you know anything about car sales, that that seems irrational, because when you first hear that, you're like, well, I can't just agree with them on everything. Customers ask for crazy shit. I mean, I can't count the number of times I've had a car we're selling for $20,000 that we paid $20,500 for. It's just been here too long. We're losing money. We're trying to sell it. And somebody comes along and says, hey, I want to buy that car for $15,000. And it's like, why would we pay you $5,000 to take this off our hand when we can go sell it at auction for like what we're asking? It makes no sense. And, you know, if you, if you have this instinct to correct people and argue with them and tell them why you can't do that, it really hurts you in sales. Uh, which the professional approach is to at least sound like you're agreeing with them and start from a very a, a position of empathy. So it's like, oh, I, I totally understand trying to get the best value, Mr. Mr. Customer. Uh, I try to get the best value when I buy a truck. Trust me, if it was up to me, I'd sell it to you for 15000 all day long. But unfortunately, you know, this is a business and we, we paid what we paid for it. And 20000 is the best price it can get. And fortunately, you know, and, and then you move on to try to counter the objection. But you're starting from a place of empathy. You're starting from, yeah, I, I would love to do that. I understand where you're coming from. I appreciate that. You're trying to get a good value. And you, you're building rapport by agreeing with what they're trying to do, at least. There's, there's no ends of ways you can do this 
in politics as well. You, you can tell people, oh, I used to think like that, and I totally understand your perspective, and, it, and it's valid, but I feel like you're missing this crucial variable of the puzzle, you know. You can, you can say, I think your heart's in the right place. I, you know, I think you want to beat Trump. And I, I, I agree that beating Trump is the most important thing. Uh, I just think Bernie has the best chance to beat Trump, and here's why, you know, et cetera. Start from a position of love and, and empathy before you get to disagreeing, and uh, you're going to be a lot more influential. So, anyway, once again, happy Valentine, Pam. Hope you have a great day, and uh, let's all love each other more. Thanks.